Hey everyone, welcome to another CD review. As you can see, the CD I have in front of you is Michael Jackson's This Is It. I recently got this yesterday at the CVS slash Long's Drug Store. Uh, according to the cashier lady that was there, she was surprised that they had it in. They, she didn't know about it. She didn't know they had the soundtrack in. I mean, she knew about the movie and everything, but she didn't know about the soundtrack. Or the music that inspired the movie, as you can see what it says. Now, I'm pretty sure when this uh, CD came out, I think it came out last week or even yesterday, I don't know, a lot of people were selling out. I know iTunes was probably popping off the charts with it. And I know a lot of people have gone to see the movie. I have not seen the movie yet. I want to see the movie in theaters, and hopefully I'll be able to see it in theaters. If not, then I'll just have to wait till DVD next month. But I want to see it. But basically, this is, it features all the songs that we saw in the trailer and that, as it says right here on the top, inspired the film. And on the back, we can see that as well. All the songs from, disc one has one, okay, the, the song list here on disc one is, the first one is Wanna Be Starting Something, the second track is Jam, the third is They Don't Care About Us, Number four is Human Nature. Number five is Smooth Criminal. Number six is The Way You Make Me Feel. Number seven is Shake Your Body to the Ground. Number eight is I Just Can't Stop Loving You. Nine is Thriller. Number ten is Beat It. Number eleven is Black or White. Number twelve is Earth Song. Number thirteen is Billy Jean. Number fourteen is Man in the Mirror. Number fifteen is his new song, This Is It. And number... 16 is the orchestrated version of This Is It. Now, here on disc 2, we have demo versions of some of the songs. Like the first track on disc 2 is a demo version of She's Out of My Life. The second track is a demo version of Want to Be Starting Something. The third demo version, the third track is another demo version, which is Beat It. And the fourth is Planet Earth, which is a poem. Now, I'm pretty sure Jermaine maybe had, Jermaine or Janet or somebody had something to do with it. They don't say the name, but they say this album is dedicated to Michael's children, Prince Michael, Paris, and Prince Michael II, a.k.a. Blanket. And I have to say it's pretty good, you know. As we open it up, you can see it's got a huge pictorial, it's a booklet basically. It gives you lots of pictures of how, of his rehearsals and of his rehearsal at the Staples Center. As you can see, gives you a lot of pictures. And it's definitely worth the buy if you get it. Yeah, you might say to yourself, it's almost similar to his greatest hits. But these are songs that were featured in the trailer for the film, that, were gonna, that are in the film. So, as you can see. And, and like I say, it's definitely worth the buy. I bought it for sixteen ninety nine. It might be cheaper at some places else, like Walmart or Target. It might be more. I don't know. But it's definitely worth the buy, and it's definitely really good. I mean, and there's that famous picture they showed. They've been showing a lot after his passing. But yeah, this is really, really a good album, and I definitely suggest you go out and get it if you have not gotten it yet. I'm pretty sure anybody who's watched the movie or was a fan has gotten it. But yeah, it's definitely worth the buy. It's officially, I guess, his last album, if you will. 
But, um, yeah, it's definitely worth the buy. I was surprised to find it there. I mean, I looked, and, you know, at CVS, was, and it was, you know, it was right in a little um, display case, if you will, a display stand right next to the Kodak photo computers. And, yeah, I saw it, and I thought to myself, you know, should I get it? And I decided, you know, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to enjoy it. And I have. I've actually have enjoyed this movie. I mean, not this movie, but the soundtrack. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's definitely worth uh, the buy. Uh, the new song, "This Is It," is definitely a good song. Definitely a chart chart topper, no doubt about it. So again, if you have not, if you've seen the film but you don't got the soundtrack, get this soundtrack. Get it. It's that. It's really good. Uh, your def it's a collector's item. This is the silver souvenir edition. Souvenir edition. In other words, it's something like you get at a souvenir stand or something. I guess I don't know. But definitely a collector's item. Definitely worth the buy. And you know, and, and in closing, I've said this before to my family. I've said to them. I said to my mom and everything. I will not be surprised that with the next few years, that the rock band and games, the rock band gaming series brings out one on Michael Jackson. I wouldn't be surprised by that. Either Rock Band or Guitar Hero, but I've got a feeling it's going to be Rock Band. And not only that, I've got a feeling as well, and I've told him this, that Circus de Olay, Circus de Olay in Las Vegas that does the Beatles Love Show, I would not be surprised that in the near future they do one on Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5. I would not be surprised by that. So, really, that's all I have to say about the CD review on Michael Jackson's This Is It. The music that inspired the movie. I really suggest you go out and get this. I really recommend it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Worth the buy, depending on how much you pay for it. You'll like it. Get it on iTunes if you can, or whatever. But get this, get this album. You'll enjoy it. That's all I have to say. And until next time, God bless. Take care, and have a nice day.